you on homophones uh, in the series uh, today i have brought set of homophones which are big words what are homophones they are similar sounding words words with same pronunciation like i want to buy grocery or bye bye see you tomorrow so in both these cases the word buy first one was b u y when i want to buy that is b u y and bye bye that is b y e so they are similar sounding words same pronunciation but they are different words so these are basically homophones and today what i have brought for you are a set of homophones which are big words big large words which always confuse us when we write we get stuck up it will be e or it will be i or it will be o or it will be a because uh, they um, differ in only one or two uh, alphabet and they are very much similar in their pronunciation like the first word that i want to draw your focus on is stationery 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 with an e now stationery items are all those items which uh, is used in office or for school work like paper pen stapler ruler colors files all these things they are known as stationery like they may be paper etc these things are known as stationery so like we can say uh, if you happen to pass by a stationery shop please get me a uh, chart paper okay stationery shop all these items are found where they are found in stationery shop stationery with an e with an e now there is another stationery let me write it down another stationery with an a this stationery is similar to this one just the difference is in a now this difference makes a whole lot of difference why because this stationery with an a it means fixed static okay like we can say the car was stationary on the road when the uh, truck hit it okay the car was standing it was not moving it was lying stationary it was fixed it was stopped okay and uh, the truck hit it so the truck hit a stationary car so there it will be an a okay so the meaning of the stationary is fixed or static so that way so we see that the meaning of these two stationary is totally different isn't it and they are homophones and they differ only in one alphabet so we need to practice uh, these kind of words so that we uh, know the exact meaning and uh, we don't get confused which one to write where so uh, this is one uh, set of word i shall be discussing few more such big words which tend to confuse us great deal stick there don't go away anywhere the next set of word for today principal with an a principal with an e so this principal p r i n c i p a l this principal is a commanding authority the head of an institute is a principal okay or a sum of money lended when we lend some money on which we will get interest that amount which we lend is the principal okay so the principal again this is a homony of one word which has got two meanings the principal of the college is a strict man next principal is p r i n c i p l e p l e now this principal means a moral rule or a standard of good behavior or a guideline so principal this principal is uh, a set of moral rules something which we are supposed to do something uh, which uh, is ethical okay and is expected of everyone to follow to do Uh, like i can say my father is a man of principle that means he has got very high standards of of uh, mannerism of behavior for himself man of principle we should follow some principle when we are uh, doing a task so principle means a set of rules next complement complement one with an e one with an i let's see what they are complement with an e it means something which completes something which completes like bread and butter they complement each other when we have bread with butter we we like it bread is usually had with butter so bread and butter complement complements each other means they complete each other 
Strawberries and ice cream complement each other. Same thing, strawberries and ice cream. If you put uh, strawberries on vanilla ice cream, it will taste uh, very good. Have you ever tried? Go try it. Strawberries and ice cream complement each other. That means they taste good together. So that is complement, completing something. So this is complement, it comes from complete. Okay, complete. So remember the word complete. C-O-M-P-L-E-T-E. -E. So it has got a lot of E's. So E means complete. The next complement is the best one. With an I. Complement with an I. This means getting praises. Okay, uh, like you are wearing a new suit and everybody says that it's looking wow. So that is they are complimenting you. They are giving you compliments. Saying something good for somebody regarding looks or performance. This is compliment. This is giving compliment. Like my boss complimented me on my performance. I did the work. Boss liked it. And he said that my work was good. So this is complimenting. I got lots of compliments today for my new hairstyle. So when you try out something new and uh, your friends or your colleagues, they like it, they say good things, like it's looking good on you, that means they are complimenting you. Always say thank you after that. So this is for compliment and compliment. E and I. Let's check out the next one. Next set, straight, straight. S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, straight means Stand straight, straight and tall, straight and tall, straight, okay, make a straight line, this is not very straight, but you can get an idea, straight means straight, so th this is this straight, now S-T-R-A-I-T straight is totally different, okay, it's totally different, what is a straight, uh, let me explain it to you, it's kind of geography, say, this is a land and this is also a land, okay? And this is water, this is water. I hope I am able to explain it to you. This is water, large body of water. Large body of water. Here also, large body of water. Okay, and this is land. This is all land. Now, this waterway, a narrow passage of water which connects Two large water bodies. It is known as strait. Like the Strait of Gibraltar. It connects uh, Atlantic Ocean with Mediterranean Sea. So that is a strait. It's a small uh, channel of water which connects two large bodies of water. So the meaning is entirely different. and uh, But the pronunciation is same. And so they are homophones and we are discussing them. Next set of words. Humorous, humorous. This humorous, H-U-M-O-U-R-O-U-S or it can be written as H-U-M-O-R-O-U-S. Both are same word. Humorous. This humorous means uh, the capacity to make somebody laugh. Witty nature. Funny nature. This is humorous. Like he has got a humorous nature. He his nature is humorous. He can make anybody laugh. He has got a very humorous personality. Humorous means lightheartedness. One who is easy and it is easy to be with him or her. Humorous means that he or she will make you laugh. So everybody likes this quality. Isn't it? Humorous. And this humorous is the name of a bone. H-U-M-E-R-U-S. It is a bone. Bone of the forearm. This bone, the long bone, it is known as humorous. So, humorous, humorous. This humorous is a quality, adjective. This humorous is the name of a bone, noun. They are homophones since they have same pronunciation. Humorous, humorous. So, uh, that's all for today. I hope you have liked this word and uh, I hope it makes sense to you because this confuses everybody. It used to confuse me. I think it confuses you also. That is why I thought of uh, discussing it here. So, uh, if you have liked the video, do give a thumbs up sign, subscribe if you haven't and uh, uh, press the bell icon and keep following the videos because I should be talking all interesting things about English language.